Hi friends, welcome to Lean Factory. My name is Anand, your Lean Manufacturing Consultant. Today in this video, we are going to learn about uh, two different concepts. But many people get confused uh, with these two concepts and they think they are the same. So we are going to talk about line balancing and load leveling. Let us learn about these concepts today. So I'm going to explain the process of a, an imaginary company which is manufacturing toothpaste. Okay. So let us say there are five different processes, right? Again, this is my assumption. There may be some process which are there, you know, in the, in the toothpaste manufacturing, which I would have missed out. But let us take for this example, five processes. So the raw materials are mixed in a mixing tank and then they are taken to the tube filling where the paste is, you know, filled in a tube. And then it is going for the cap fixing, you know, where they are putting the cap to the tube and then uh, to the packing section where it is, you know, the, the tube is inserted into a small package and then finally to the outer carton where it is a master carton, the bigger carton and then the box goes as a finished woods and gets stored in a warehouse. So let us say this is the process flow for a toothpaste manufacturing. Okay. And now we are going to talk about line balancing. What is this line balancing? Line balancing means I have to ensure that the entire capacity or the cycle time of all these processes are more or less equal so that the line runs in a smooth fashion. For example, my capacity of this line is let us say 1000 boxes per hour. Okay, this is the cycle time of this machine. To manufacture this 1000 boxes, I need 50,000 small boxes. That is in one carton box, there are uh, 50 small boxes, let us say. So this packaging should be 50,000 small boxes per hour. Similarly, this machine's capacity also should be 50,000 per hour cap fixing. And the tube filling also should be able to fill 50,000 tubes per hour. And the mixing tank also should have a capacity to meet this 50,000 per hour. If this is perfect and if this is there in that existing line, the line will run smoothly without any WAP or without any requirement for extra space for you know keeping the buffer stock etc. So the run the line will run continuously if all the machines are having the same capacity. If there is a problem, let us say one machine, the cap fixing machine, instead of 50,000, the capacity is only 25,000 per hour. Normally, what companies will do, they will put additional machine. Right? We will have two machines, another cap fixing. So it will go here and then again come. That's how people do the line balancing. This is called line balancing. We are we are creating another machine to meet the overall capacity. So that 25,000 here and another 25,000 here will be there. So now the line is balanced. right? What we normally look at is instead of adding this machine, can I increase the capacity from this 25,000 to again back to 50,000. If I can do that, then that's called as Kaizen. We are improving the bottleneck machine, right? So it's called as a Kaizen. That's for a different day. We will take another you know, video maybe. But generally what companies do, if there is a particular machine where the capacity is less, they will add one more machine, right? We are now investing some money, right? It's a capital expense, all those things. So, so this is how they balance the line. This is called as line balancing. We are making sure that the cycle times of all the activities are equal. Here there are two machines. And now here also there is thousand uh, boxes per hour, right? So this is called as line balancing. So in a line, I am making sure that all the cycle times are matched. It's more or less equal. This is called as line balancing. The first concept, right? We are all clear here. Now let us look at the second concept. It's called load leveling. What is this load leveling? You, you can also call it as heijunka. Heijunka is a Japanese word for load leveling. Let us say this company not only produces one product, it has four different products. So it manufactures regular, that is a regular model, regular toothpaste. Then we have salt, the salt flavor. Then we have gel paste, which is blue and also gel red. Okay, so there are four different products, but we have only one line. So what will we do? For the first week, they are running regular, right? And then there will be a changeover. What is a changeover? Changeover means I have to remove these chemicals which are there, which are for the regular models. So I have to remove them, put the new chemicals, which is for the salt, 
then there will be no uh, mixing like this we have, i have to change for every machine right there is a change over let us say the change over takes 5 hours okay so during this 5 hours there is no production from the line right because it is taking 5 hours i am also afraid to stop the uh, line i don't want to stop the line because i am losing 5 hours of production so what i will do i will continuously run run for one week so one week the first week i will produce only regular seven days i will produce the second week i will produce salt again seven days then i will produce gel glue for seven days and then i will produce gel red for seven days and only on the after the fourth week that is on the fifth week i will again go back to regular right so the again seven days i will do so this seven day of production of regular should meet the entire four weeks demand right so what i am trying to do in one week i am trying to produce as much as possible to meet the demand of the entire month right four weeks let us consider it's a month so i have to produce one month stock in one week and i will keep it for the next three weeks right same thing with other products also because my change over time is 5 hours because i have high change over i have to flush this machine right and then only i can add and a few quantity the initial few quantities will be waste because it will have the you know the residue of the previous you no know, uh, mixing also so the flavor will be different so i have to there will be a lot of waste right i have to waste something so i don't want to do lot of changes i will try to avoid a lot of changeovers right only once in a week i will do a changeover that's the problem so what i am doing i am producing for 7 days then i am keeping the stock for 30 days 4 weeks right monthly stock this is right in this way i will end up with a lot of fg one month stock of right one month stock of regular one month stock of salt one month stock of gel blue another one month stock of gel red right one month because the change over time is 5 hours i don't want to do frequent change overs i try to avoid a lot of change overs i want to do only one change over per week then i end up with a lot of stock here one month stock of regular one month stock of salt one month stock of blue and red what if i can do the change over instead of 5 hours if i can do the change over in 10 minutes i'm just giving a concept 10 minutes i can do the you now removing the entire you no know, uh, mixing Uh, chemicals outside and i can do the change over in 10 minutes all this machine i can do the change over in 10 minutes which means i don't have to run the production for continuously for 7 days i can do one day of regular the next day i can change it to salt next day i can change it to blue next day i can change it to red right so every day i can change it to different different products because the change over time is less in this way i will not have a lot of finished good stock i can i can have less stock you get the idea so i can do frequent change overs i can produce whatever the market demands right so the previous one the first plan that is of one seven days seven days here it is more rigid but when the change over time is shortened when the change over time is less we we can have flexible manufacturing flexible production we can do whatever I, i need for the market i can produce and give so this is called as load leveling or hejunka right so load leveling means what products i have to produce at what frequency right every product every dash no in in lean we call it as epex every product every week or every day or every shift or every hour depending on that so so the ideal thing is every product every hour no every hour i do a change over and i can you know uh, produce whatever i want right so that is called as load leveling line balancing is balancing the cycle times inside a line that is called as line balancing so we we learned about two different concepts line balancing and load leveling in this video i hope this particular video you know uh, gives a lot of interesting insights for you if you want to learn lean manufacturing in a very simple and easy to understand manner we have our lean champion course which is a free course you can directly join no need for no need for any credit card and all you can directly join and you can you know complete the course there is a certificate also which is provided at the end of the course you can ask your employees to join your team members to join you can use this course as a free training material for your company i am going to give the link in the description 
and if you like this particular video please subscribe and you can also click the bell icon so that whenever we post a new video you will get a notification thank you very much for watching i'll talk to you guys in the next video see you